Welcome to Fanville Farm. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is day two of our, well that's four, two of our daily vlogs. Um, we're doing them for the next like month. Uh, we're doing a vlog every day uh, the, throughout the duration of our crowdfunder. Um, and what are we up to today? Uh, a long list. So we were ambitious yesterday. Um, we're going to be even more ambitious today. Um, so we're going to carry on with our polytunnels. We've got to build the other doors and get loads of tape on because hopefully, if you watched yesterday, we had a bit of a down with the delivery of parts of the polytunnels, but they should be delivered tomorrow so we can get that skinned tomorrow, which will be a massive help for all of our propagation needs and things. Um, and I'm going to try and sort out some of our water situation. So we live on a farm which should have got its mains um, put in during this mad time, but this whole mad coronavirus thing, thing has caused them not to be able to work and not to be able to get the permission so we're currently on a farm off grid can't go anywhere but without water so we are traveling down the road to a hydrant standpipe getting water from there and bring it back up so i now have to work out how we're going to get that to water the farm because my arms ache from doing like 100 watering cans a day so uh, we're going to work that out um, and we're also going to be recording a load of videos to say thank you to everyone who's donated to our crowdfunder so and also i'm going to clear another pile of brush oh yeah we've been clearing loads of brush over that side to extend and every time we clear a pile it's like look there's so much space <laughs> under here so uh, we're gonna do that so much room for activities you'll <laughs> um, hopefully enjoy the video bye why bye i don't know going anywhere we are <laughs> Gonna do some work. issues on site as we mentioned we're meant to have our mains in but we haven't got it so this is our current way of getting water onto the farm we take it via um, a standpipe in a fire hydrant hose which with southeast water's permission we're allowed to do and then it comes into this ibc and then we pump it out obviously we haven't bought um big pumps yet we can't really afford to buy a big pump to do this so we're using a drill pump so have a look here, this little pump, the water comes in on the yellow side and it goes out on the green side because it's coming from the IBC down into the pump and out and there's obviously just a little um, propeller in here moving the water, it's run by the drill um, which is pretty nifty, this is only about sort of 15 quid, it's a heavy duty-ish one, they can get them cheaper um, and obviously the drill's running and um, only lasts as long as the battery runs but it's got good pressure. I mean, if you follow, this is now traveling, travel a good, I'd say 30 meters up here. Um, and we're getting it to fill the IBC here so that we can use then the same pump to water the beds later on. 
but it's got a fairly good pressure. I can help you with that. Yeah. <laughs>